Hey guys, um, I'm going to be showing you how to get a program, not a program, find a web website that gives you <coughs> sorry, um, tons of fonts you can choose from. People make them and they, they're totally original and they make ones from games too and today I'm going to be showing you how to get uh, the Halo uh, font. So here we go, let's go. Um, first you're going to want to go to a um, you know Internet Explorer go to www.dafont.com d-a-f-o-n-t and over here where it says search type in halo and search it and these are the two, this one isn't really halo but this is the two they're really it but I don't, I don't use this one, this is the one I'm going to show you so click on it and it'll say download PC slash Mac OS X. Click on that. Say save. When you're saving it, go to my computer, local disk C in your C drive. Go over here to Windows and then scroll over until you get to this folder that says fonts. And it'll show all your fonts that you have on your computer. All these fonts. And just hit save. It'll already have Halo on there. Save. I've already got it on here, so I'm not going to replace it, no. Um, but you would hit save and then save it. And then you would come and it's save now. So now it's it's on your computer. It's basically like it came with your computer. It's a font. So you can go to Microsoft Word. And you can... Uh, Halo... It, you know, it's an awesome font. Um, it's it's basically yeah. It just it's got some you know it's 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 the Halo font. So you know, if you type in Halo three, that's what it looks like. And so yeah, and you can do this in any program. Um, let's go to Notepad. And so you can do it on Notepad. You can do it on Adobe After Effects. See? If you have Adobe After Effects, um, I, I should be making some tutorials on Adobe After Effects on a different account. But, um, uh, yeah, so if you're going on Adobe After Effects, we're gonna go, 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 this, is, this is what you're going to want to do. Go to Composition. And if you, if you already don't know how to, if you already know how to do this, then whatever just uh, okay go to new composition you know if you want to change the stuff I just leave the same it's okay then you want to add um, a text box and so when you first get Adobe all this isn't here so what you're going to want to do to get these options because I know people when I first got Adobe After Effects I, I, people would say okay now go to your toolbar and click rotate icon and I, I didn't have that and I didn't know where it was so what you need to go is you go to view or no you go to window tools you click on that and then it'll come up with a separate box you take that box and you drag it like you see the, that those little dots you take it on the box and you drag it so it's right here and then it'll, it'll become a standard um, uh, toolbar up here and so you can use all these options so I take text box, go in there, say um, Halo 3. Uh, okay, um, make that bigger. And then optical. Change where it is. And then, um, just, you know, if you want to just import a picture, right there, um, file, find a Halo picture, get Halo picture file, and then get Halo picture, 
and then drag it onto here. And um Uh, hello, let's see. You need to go back up to the arrow and you expand it so it fits the window. And then, um, as you can see, my picture is covering up my text. And so, you're not going to be able to see my text. What so you want to do, come down here. It says, this is the image, me, halo2.jpg. Hold it and drag it down under Halo 3 so you see this black bar under it. Drag it down, and that basically shows this is the layer. This is like the order of the layer, and so then since Halo 3 is on top of this, it'll be on top of this, and so you can you can hide the the picture and the text, and then it'll have that. So it'll, it'll be pretty cool. And um and yeah, so it works for Adobe After Effects and then uh, it also you know it works for every program that lets you change your font. And so yeah, and it'll work for anything and um if you ever want to get the uh um, if you're ever interested in getting, not the Halo font, but the Gears of War 2 font, go type it, go to search on the font, type in defused, D-E-F-U-S-E-D, -E -E search it, and then here's the Gears of War 2 font. It's got all this. And then you just do the same thing, download, save, my computer, load disk, C drive, Windows, fonts, and save it. And then you can, and then it'll be in there, and you can use it the same way you use Halo. So yeah, um, that's my tutorial, and hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.